Hey guys, what's going on? So I have a new type of video that I came up with that's going to be really fun to do. So I'm just going to ramble on about why I love a certain band for each of these videos. So basically, like, uh, you know last month I did that video about, like, Black Flag and how they're my favorite band of all time? I might do something like that, except it's not going to be my favorite band of all time, it's just a band I really love. So it's gonna be, I'm basically going to do this about, like, every band I listen to. But today I'm going to do one to a band that I've been addicted to listening to lately. And that is no effects. So basically, uh, how I got into this band, I discovered them last summer when I kept hearing about them everywhere, um, like on the internet or at the record store. And then basically, I was just like, fuck it. So I looked up, well, I didn't look it up Punk and Drublick first, though. Um, I was, I keep, I can't remember. I think what happened was I saw them on a Loudwire list. Great channel, um, even though it's kind of like corporate, but their lists are funny, to, are fun to watch. Occasionally there's some like weird bands on there. But anyways, um, like, I saw No Effects in one of their lists, and it was, like, um, like, top ten, like, shortest songs or something like that, and Murder the Government was one of them, so I listened, up, I looked up that song, and I, like, loved it, and then I listened to Punk and Drublick, and I loved that even more, so then I bought Punk and Drublick on vinyl, and I listened to this album, like, all summer, like, the three albums I listened to the most this summer were this, um, Iron Maiden's Number of the Beast, and Discharges Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing. Um, actually, and Lamb of God, Sacrament. Um, since my, that, those were pretty much the only albums I had in my vinyl collection, other than My War and, um, what's it called? Uh, AFI's uh, All Hallows EP. Um, which are all, all these albums are fantastic, but anyways. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much every vinyl I own is fantastic, to be honest, but anyways. Um, no effects, like, something about that band just stuck with me, like, there's punk bands where I listen to them, and, like, I don't get over them, but I just don't, I stop listening to them as much as I listen to them when I got into them. An example of a band like that would be, like, Seven Seconds. Like, when I got into that band, I like, couldn't stop listening to them, and I kind of stopped listening to them for a while. I don't listen to them as much as I listen to, but occasionally I'll listen to the CD. But with no effects, I just never stop non-stop listening to them. Like, it's crazy. Like, I just love that band so much. I don't know. Like, there's punk bands where, like, I still, I love, like, like, what I was saying is, like, I love 7 Seconds, but I just didn't listen to them as much as I as I did when I first got their albums. But with no effects, since I've gotten Punk and Drip, like, I don't think there's ever been a single week where I haven't listened to that album in its entirety. Like, I don't know, something about this album is just stuck with me. Not emotionally, it'd be kind of odd, honestly, because songs about on here are about, like, um, like, being comfortably poor, or, uh... I don't know. I don't think an album with a song called Jeff Wears Birkenstocks would stick with you emotionally, but just melodically uh, stuck with me. This is, album is so good, and so is their other album I have, White Trash, Two Heaps, and a Bean. I actually want to pick up another album from them uh, tomorrow. When I go to the record store, I'm probably going to get either their first album, um, Liberal Animation, their first EP, um, uh, self-titled. I don't think it's their first EP, but it's one of their early EPs. Um, yeah, there's a repress of it there, which is kind of cool. Or, um, the album that, like, one of the, oh, oh, ah, not one of their older albums, but the album after, um, Eating Lamb, or, uh, what's it called, um, there's two names for it, since there's different artwork, because the censored versions on the CD, uh, Eating Lamb, or Heavy Petting Zoo, the album after that, um, uh, So Long It Takes For All the Shoes, great album, I'm probably gonna go with, uh, their first album, though, but anyways, I don't know, there, something about No Effects, like, I like how they're, like, melodic, and the music sounds like it'd be emotional, but their lyrics are so funny. Like, a good example of a song would be, like, on Liberal Animation, the song, um, A200 Cup Club. Like, he's saying, like, the song, the lyrics, it doesn't sound like it'd be emotional. Well, not emotional, but it sounds like there's just, like, this strong melody in the music. But he's screaming, I've got crabs, I've got crabs, I've got crabs. Like that. Or, like, another song, like, that's a good example of that, but not as, not as a crazy example as that song, like, Linoleum. That song's, like, it's, it almost sounds like it'd be, like, an emotional kind of song. But he's singing about being comfortably poor. You know, like lyrics that's like, that's me on the street with a violin under my chin, singing gibberish. Or that's me on the beach side coming the sand, metal meter in my hands, throwing a pocket full of change. He basically kind of sings about being a weirdo. And it's just really funny. But they're, I like that. They're lighthearted, but they're not, like, they're not, um, non-emotional. Like, they're weird, like, their melodies are emotional, but obviously their lyrics aren't. There's another thing I like about bands like The Misfits, how, like, they're, they have, like, an emotional-sounding melody, but they're, they're like, lyrics are, like, like, have nothing to do with that. 
But yeah, for some reason, listening to NoFX always puts me in a good mood, and I've just been addicted to listening to them lately. Like, I listened to this twice today, and I listened to this once. Like, I think right when I caught up, I listened to this. Like, this morning, I just woke up. Um, I, didn't, I don't even eat breakfast, really. Oh, I hate breakfast. But I just woke up. I, I think it was, like, 10 since I wake up really fucking late. Um, since I stay up late on weekends. But anyways, I woke up, and I think, like, the first thing I did was, like, I got up, and I... So, like, good morning or whatever to my family. I walked in my room, and I just put this on and cleaned my room. And once I was done cleaning my room, I kept listening to this album. And then I listened to all Punk and Drillic, and then it was, like, uh, 11, so I was like, oh, shit. So then I got done. But anyways, yeah, like, that's how good that band is. Like, I just get lost listening to them. It's like with Black Flag. Like, like I can't stop. Like, if I start, if I listen to one album from Black Flag, like, I, I'll just, like, non-stop start listening to them like over the next few days like every time i listen to my war then i want to listen to family man if i listen to family man i want to listen to slip it in if i listen to slip it in i want to hear loose nut and if i want to hear loose if i hear loose nut then i want to hear it in my head you know and, or i should start with damage i forgot damaged and all the earlier stuff but it's like that like with no effects it's a similar story except it's not so much with the albums like i listen to the same album over and over and just this band i love so much they're probably one of my favorite punk they're probably my second favorite punk band Obviously, the black flag, but yeah, I just I don't know. They're so good, and if you don't, if you haven't heard No Effects or if you heard of them but you haven't heard them, definitely start with Punk and Drublic. Um, it's a great album, but if you want something that if you want if you're into like harder punk, then I would start with their earlier stuff. Like say if you're into a band, if you're into bands like uh, like Bad Religion or um, another good example, um, or Seven Seconds. I just met, I mentioned seven seconds like twice in this video. If you're in a bad religion or seven seconds like melodic hardcore, then you'll enjoy it. And like I would start with fucking Drublik. Uh, but if you're in a like if like the only punk you listen to is like really hardcore stuff, um, if you're like 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 brocore basically like agnostic front, or even if you're into like just like classic hardcore, like Black Flag whatever, um, then I would start with our earlier stuff if you want to get into them. Anyways, but No Effects is so good. Like, yeah. I don't know. I love how they mix so many diverse versions of punk. Like, they mix, like, hardcore punk with melodic hardcore with skate punk and pop punk and ska. It's just really... It works. Like, I just... I don't know. Like, this summer, I was just obsessed with this band, and I still am. But, like, that summer, like, I think they're, like, one of the only bands I listened to. It was funny. So, like, this is basically my pattern this summer. Like, I just, like... Listen to Punk and Drublick, and then that would put me in a really no effects mood. And then I watched an episode of Backstage Passport on YouTube, which is a, like a documentary series that they did about a tour that they were on, which is really interesting. If you like no effects, you should definitely check that out. It was really interesting, and it was actually a really funny uh, documentary series. But yeah, Backstage Passport, no effects. And then I'd go and listen to this album again. Then another episode. I don't know. I just love the al the, that album, Punk and Drublick, and I don't really like White Trash as much. I don't, ah. I really like White Trash a lot, too, but I really, really like Punk and Drublik. That's my favorite. It sounds cliche, because everybody says Punk and Drublik's their best album, but it really is. So, yeah, um, I don't want to make this video too long, but uh, I hope you enjoyed. Check out No Effects if you haven't already. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.